All right, guys, Chance again, growing independent channel. And uh, this guy here, that's Krim. It's my first black Krim tomato of uh, the season, and I wanted to show him off. Well, really, I want to show him off because how funny he looks, but he's pretty cool looking, right? Uh, all right, I'm going to show some blue Hubbard squash or some Hubbard squash. Uh, show a couple things I found in the garden. Stick around. It's really, really bright out here right now. So my camera's probably not going to catch everything the way I'd like it. But I am going to show off what I can. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been really trying to pay attention to the garden more than anything. But I'm feeling inspired right now. And I want to show off some things. Uh, over here I'm growing some acorn squash. And I'm having the weirdest time with them because I keep getting these ones right here. And I'm thinking they're not pollinated, this, that, or the other. So I'm pulling them off. Well, I'm, now I'm looking at them. And that's just the way they are so I'm gonna leave him and I'm gonna leave them all now and just let nature do its job and if they fall off they fall off and if they don't I hope they get big enough to eat soon if I sound a little out of breath I am I've been working out I got done in the garden early today and decided to do a little cardio over here I've got my corn it's doing really well I've never got this far with corn and at this point in time I am super nervous because every other time I've gotten here anywhere close to some of these I got in here um, I've always gotten into them and found in a found in a beetle or something like that so I am nervous nervous and excited but when I feel them they feel like they're good and solid up to here and then they go limp it's like they're not pollinated I come out here and shake them um, hoping to pollinate all the silk on them but, but we'll see In my composting efforts, uh, not everything gets completely um, composted. Seeds make it through, like this tomato right here. That's it come out of my sweet potato um, patch. And it runs right up this tree, and it's literally about three foot tall. I'm just going to leave them. Whatever he gives me, he gives me, and I'll be happy with it. My kids' beds are looking really, really good. Jacob's actually got all his peanuts are popping up so that's good so now he'll be able to keep up with Jeremy and actually it's probably a good thing they did like they did so we got some succession planning and we're not going to go without for a while Jeremy's eggplants are popped up and the last thing I'm going to show is this pumpkin it's running straight under this trampoline I got my kids so I guess we're not losing this space after all, which is great. On top of that, these vines are being really, really prolific. I've got this one almost ready here. I've got that one over there. It's almost ready. And I've got, well, he's pollinated. And I've got this one that's getting big. And last but not least, I've got all these volunteer peppers over here. This is just from kitchen scraps I bring out when there's little stuff left on the cutting board. And I'll see a few seeds. I'll come over here and just drop them down. You know, I, I'm trying to do as much as I can with what little space I have. And everything counts. All right, guys, this is Chance again. I'm going to remind you to grow independent today, and I am out of here.